Hello and welcome to Mini Metro. We are now on Beta 7. So yes, the last one was Beta 5, but we've apparently skipped Beta 6. Okay, changes in this beta. We've got locomotives and carriages can be dragged from their current position and attached to other lines of trains. This is huge. It really changes how much you commit into strategy. Like you, before, you might try and you know keep some of your bonuses behind so that you could have them in case of an emergency. Like if one line got really congested, you could you'd need to have something, you know, in a backup. But this means that you can just throw out all of your bonuses straight away and there is no repercussions because you can just drag them onto another line. Although I wonder if you can just move locomotives onto line like straight onto stations like like from other lines like get them to go one station and move it back. I wonder whether that can be um, manipulated slightly. We'll see. Passenger and station icons have been cleaned up. Okay, don't know what that means. Passengers are packed more closely together at stations and current. Okay. Again, a bit unclear. We've got a new map at last, which is really good. Uh, each link displays only one tunnel, even if multiple crossings are made. Again, that's a bit weird. Doesn't really explain what is what the effect in game is. And game interface is scaled correctly at low resolutions. So, yes, I don't play on a low resolution, I don't think, so that won't affect me. Are there any new options? No new options this time. Let's go into the game. Playing on commuter mode, as always, because it's the only mode that has an end. So, Sao Paulo. Looks like it has one river that splits in the middle. Looks fairly straightforward. Maybe it's a little bit more complicated when we get in there. Okay, so this looks like a fairly easy map. Although the spawns seem to be a little quicker than they used to be. I don't know whether this is just me, you know, remembering wrongly or whether they actually are quicker. So we'll go for something like this. My plan is to kind of have this yellow line being a splitter. I'll have green expen uh, extending into the bottom right. Or blue extending into the top right. And yeah. And then we'll get two more lines and they'll go into the other spots. Doesn't look like bridges are going to be a priority, but depends on when we get to start. We start with three. I can't see us using three. At least not unless we're doing it very well. So this one, I'm going to go with yellow for it. I think I'm going to try and get a line straight away and then have a line going around for all of the left hand side. And then I'll split it in half when I get another line. So we've got a crossing. We'll just head over here. Nice and easy. I'll make this a circle. Just a little bit neater. Nothing's going wrong because it's only the first week really. Nothing can really go that wrong. So green is going to be covering the bottom right. So it will cover this area. Possibly a better strategy would have been to have blue on the right hand side, green on the left hand side to start and then split them in half at that point, but it doesn't really matter. So yellow will just kind of extend like that. We'll shorten it when we get the second line. If that's an option we're given, we could be given an option to take just a carriage or a bridge, at which point we take a carriage and we'd extend, we'd probably put it on yellow line, but it doesn't matter. Talking of that, I just had a small idea. Can we move? Yes, we could move this train to blue line if we wanted to. Okay. Weird. And then we can put it back wherever we like on green line. Hmm. That seems like it could be easily exploited. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that change. 
Okay, locomotive, and we got a line. Perfect. So we're going to take yellow line down a bit. It's going to be this straight line again. Oh, I'm sorry, that was orange line, because this one is now yellow line. I always forget that. If you watched any of my other videos, you would know this. Uh, okay, so this now connect. So the idea is orange will connect to every line we connect, uh, we create. And then as we extend upwards, it'll connect up. Uh, extend down, it'll connect down, and then it'll have lots of connections. So, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Where did I steal this one from? Well, that's from yellow. Wait a second. So you can teleport the trains around now. That significantly changes how it plays. Hmm. Yeah, it's a lot less of a strategic game now. I didn't mean to connect through like that, but I guess I am now. So suppose if you had yellow like this, where there's nothing on it, but green was getting overrun, you could just stick a few more in green and it'd be fine. Interesting. Just connecting it through a couple more times, because I think that'll make it more efficient. Okay. Kind of want to connect blue down here, just so that they're totally lined up, but... I don't think that'll help blue line at all. Hmm. It kind of makes line, uh, it kind of makes carriages, sorry, a um, more attractive prospect as an upgrade. Because what you could do with a carriage is you can just stick it on a line, use your extra train, and then you can double up and they'll go around like that. And then it, you can just move it around wherever it needs help. Yeah, so it'll evolve a little bit more micromanagement, but I think you can get much higher results with this new patch. I'll go and have a look at the leaderboards. So I think the highest ones were about 5,000, 6,000 before, so presumably one or two of those people have got the new patch, so they must be able to see what's going on. Okay, this is a bit interesting, but actually we're going to wait till it gets past Sunday, because if we get in a line, then I can solve this problem really easily. Problem is, we actually ran out of bridges. Surprisingly. Well, it's because I made this a circle. Oops. Tunnels. We're going to go with tunnels, because I like circle. I like the circle lines. So... Move this one in here so it's not going too much. Wait, or is it better to move this one in here then out? Yeah, then that's a little bit better. Okay, we got an extra train. We're going to put it on green line because it doesn't matter where it goes right now. Um, here, this one from orange. Go over here. I mean, actually, just keep orange line up permanently, but have it do nothing right now. And yeah, just move the trains from it. And only occupy it when it serves a purpose. Which is fine. So, these ones are all going to triangle. We'll just steal one of... Well, I don't want to steal that. I want to take your train and stick you there. On, it doesn't matter what direction, orange only has two stops, so. So we got a triangle up here. Um, we'll just disconnect, connect through there, and then do a little bend. Perfect. So orange can now collect everything, go up. It needs to go up and down because uh, it's the link to the, tri it's the link to the triangle. So, it needs to stay just right now. Getting a little overrun, but I think there's a lot of potential in this patch. This particular one is not going to go so well, though. Right, so that's got a lot of the pressure taken off it. So it's going to get here, drop them off, it's going to come to this one, it's going to pick up everything, it's going to fill the carriage. Right. Oh, that is a pain. It's a real pain. We're going to have to disconnect 
yellow from being a circle. I want to disconnect it. Okay, I want to disconnect it this way. I think. Yeah. Then we'll go down here. The reason we need to do this is because we're going to need something up here. Hopefully orange can do it in one go. Yeah. We actually need a lot more bridges than I first imagined on this level because of where the spawn is. But that's fine. We can work around it. Orange doesn't need to be there right now. It can go and be a yellow line. Perfect. Uh, when orange starts to get a few more passengers, we'll stick up there. It can then solve that issue. We definitely need uh, another... I think it's either another line or a carriage we'll need to fix this problem. Probably a carriage on green line with another train that we can move around on. Uh, this one isn't needed anymore. It can go up here. Actually, it needs to be down here. Cool. So it picks up the triangles. Actually, yellow can pick up triangles. I'll leave it where it is right now. That's fine. I wonder if that'll make it go back to where it just came. It will. It's a bit weird. I'm not sure that's how it's meant to work. Or how it would be designed to work. I'm sure that's how they coded it to work. I'm not sure that's how it's going to end up in the end. Like when they release it. Okay, locomotive. We can choose lines or tunnels. We're going to choose line. The reason for choosing line is I can now make yellow line. Oh, I forgot I need to lower it here. I can make yellow line a bit shorter. Let's make yellow. Let's, let's make yellow line this. Okay. Then we can make dark blue line go up here. Long, then, then, in and out. Perfect. That'll solve a few of our issues. As yellow is now a little bit shorter, there are two lines that go to this uh, symbol here. It's kind of quarter circle. Uh, this is a huge problem. We need to solve it right now. Orange is about to get here, so we'll just stick it. Stick a blue one on there. Yeah, you see how the how having an extra like having the ability to just move your trains around at will can really affect how, and how easily how easy it is to play the game. So now we're gonna move this back up here. It's gonna drop off everything at this station, but it doesn't matter. Because we're not gonna lose the game over it anymore. Uh this looks like a blue line one. We have blue going up there. We can't cross again, so it has to go down like that. But that's fine. Now this orange one will pick up everything. Green line's in trouble, but it doesn't matter because we can just pick them up now. Right. This blue one's got a bit of an issue. We'll look for the train that's going to end. So this going to get here. Where are they? So these are mostly going for green line or yellow line. Blue can take them there. Right, so we're going to move this orange train down here. And it'll now pick up the path. It'll now resume picking up the passengers. Right, now that it's there, we can just pick it up, turn it around, and it'll come back here again. Uh, that needs to extend out, down, okay, yeah I think this still isn't going to last too much longer, but we can kind of artificially extend the length still by continuing to cheat this uh, station. 
So we've got about 13 passengers right now that are just in transit, in permanent transit. Why are people from Triangle not getting off here? Are they only going along Blue Line? And they're only going along Blue Line, so put it that direction. You'll get off, You'll. it's now a blue train, and it can go round. No trouble. We're going to take it, we're going to steal it, we're going to put it down here. Yeah, I think someone who's really good at the at, uh, micromanaging this game would definitely be able to exploit this. And I think it definitely needs to be patched out. Because you could just get pretty much an infinite score at this point. It's just about how much you're willing to micromanage. So... Wait, so this... Dark blue one, I think, is next. Did we lose? Or has the game crashed? Oh, I paused. Okay. Ignore that. So we got triangles. We got five triangles, a square, and a cross. If we put it this way, it should pick up the triangles and solve the issues. The instant it leaves the station, we'll pick it up and we'll just stick it where it's needed. Which here is a good spot for it, I think. Right, weird. Locomotive, fantastic. Lines or tunnels? Lines or tunnels? Tunnels. But what we really, the only reason I chose that is because we really don't care about the lines right now. The lines mean no, uh, mean nothing to us effectively. Because we can move these trains around. So the more trains that we have available to move around, that's what's important. If we had an option of a carriage, I would have taken that. But this also means that we can put these nice little, uh, make these ones nice little circles. And we all know that efficiency in trait in like mini metro is caused by how many circles you have. Obviously. Right, we're gonna revamp orange line so it goes around there. The reason for doing that is because we're gonna extend yellow over the top here. Um, I might also extend orange down like that just so that it connects through a couple of different spots on all the lines. You can pick up more passengers, and they can get between these unique places a little quicker. Right, where needs attention? Here needs attention. It's already got a train going to it. Don't need to do anything. Okay, this means that we can make our line a little nicer. Green's going to have even more pressure on it, but that's fine. We have three trains on it permanently, and we have a couple more trains we can add to it. We can only have a max of four on a line, though, which might be the limiting factor in this strategy. Uh, okay, so oh, I want to grab the train. Can I grab the train under there? I don't think I can. I think I have to wait for it to leave the station before I can grab it. Okay. They're waiting to come back down here. They can get on yellow to do that, though. So, want this to be on that way. Okay, orange. They'll now get off orange line. Speed along here. Pick up a whole bunch of passengers. Star. Where's star? It's up there. So they're waiting on orange line to get star. Okay wonder if we do something like this. It's like the train's getting off up green and then just carrying on, which could work. Although, that is going to make this station he very heavy. Uh, right. Another square. I think this has to be for green line because green doesn't have a square yet and there's a lot of passengers want to go to it. Green. 
Right. This one needs to... This is the train that's... Ooh, wait a second. Oh, I don't want to get rid of that train. Whatever. Right, this train, you get up here, it's got triangle, and a quadrant thing. I think it's going this direction. So we'll stick the train up there, and we'll see how that plays out. Okay. So, which line has the least traffic on it? Blue line, I think. We'll just quickly use that to jump off. I stole one from green and one from dark blue. So I can now pick up these passengers. Need to send one back to green. That'll be. I need to wait for it to leave the station. Right, you go back to green. You need to go that way. It should pick up all the passengers want to go to cross. This one will pick up all the passengers going the other way. That'll work out fine. Another yellow. So yellow step extends over there. Uh, yellow doesn't need... Nah, that, I'm not going to change that. That's fine. This new build of the game definitely makes it so you have to do be a lot more reactive. Like, I have just lost now. Yes, I missed this one. I don't think I'm going to be able to... Unless I can drop it directly on the station. Even then, it's getting a little close. Yeah. Game over. Anyway, I hope this showed to some of the new stuff in beta 7 not beta 6 and yeah i'll see you next time goodbye